Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. We see firearms come and go all the time, especially rifles. Most of that has to do with what it's chambered in. The ammo may not be mass-produced, hard to find, therefore it decreases the desire to own that rifle. And if you get it, you most likely pay a lot of money for the ammo. Let's look at the Mosin Nagant. The Mosin used to be purchased for right around $70 at a local hardware store. Now you're looking to find one for under $300. But I'm not talking about a Mosin Nagant. I'm talking about a rifle that I purchased back in 2015. And I wish I bought more because these have skyrocketed in cost. They're very scarce. They're hard to find. If you find one that's typically priced between $1,300 and $1,500. Is it worth that? Personally, I don't think so. I think there are other options. But I'm happy to have this. Because it looks like an AK, it fires the same round as an AK, but it's not an AK. Do you know what it is? I have it right here. I said back in 2015, this thing is really going to be worth something. And here it is. It's a VZ-58, also known as a VZ-2008 or 2008. This, is, this was imported by Sentry Arms. This has a folding stock. All right, you hit this button here. And it folds to the right side. A wood stock or wood forend and a wood grip. The mags are different. Let's talk about the, the differences. This is an aluminum mag. It has a lip right there, which means it's not interchangeable with AK mags. Holds the same capacity. It uses a short stroke gas piston system. So that's a bit different. And check out where the thumb safety is located. Right on the right side, it's a lever instead of the long lever that the AK uses for the safety. It's a nice rifle. It has a 16-inch barrel. The, the rear sight's right here, positioned the same as an AK and a hooded adjustable front sight. It's a very nice rifle, chambered 762 by 39. But for a rifle that was once purchased that i purchased for under 400 dollars is now selling for a ton of money so the rifle itself has somewhat died off the aftermarket support is very good there, there are parts and you see these accessorized uh, with parts that are available to this day for this rifle i can't believe they're selling very many because I decided to keep it stock. I think it looks cool. I don't necessarily want to accessorize it up. I think it holds its value, even though you can keep the original parts and put them back on. It's very easy to disassemble. It's smooth shooting. It's a striker-fired rifle that is different than an AK because an AK is a hammer-fired rifle. And it also has a milled steel receiver which in most cases that is different than your standard AKM. So the VZ-58 was imported by Sentry Arms. It was very available and it has become very unavailable. And what does that mean? Whenever anything is hard to find, scarce, it raises the cost big time. On average, $1,400 for this rifle as I mentioned I think you could do better with that kind of money but if you're into collecting and you want something with a pretty heavy round 762 by 39 this would be a good choice and I like the mag capacity I like everything that it offers it even came with a sling to uh to that came attached to it or I can't remember if it came attached but I said this thing's going to be worth a bundle and it is and it's called the VZ 58 or VZ-2008, it's a nice shooting rifle. I've never had a problem with it. It's very reliable. As I mentioned, easy to disassemble, and I certainly have enjoyed owning it throughout the years. I don't shoot it that much. Perhaps I, I should do another range review on it. It's pretty, pretty darn accurate for iron sights, too. No desire to accessorize it to get a rail on there to put a dot or anything else. But this is what I'm talking about popular at one time often overlooked during that time but many of those overlookers most likely wished that they picked one up because right now it's worth a bundle if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe